Hello and welcome to this edition of the How To Handyman. My name is Rick Richard, but my friends call me Rick Dick. You can too, because you're my friend. On this edition of the How To Handyman, Handyman, we're going to change a couple of hinges. As you can see, this one's rusty and ugly. And what's happening is, this door's rubbing. That's right. And you don't want it to rub. A self-sanding is what I call it. And you know what? I'm not quite that poor where I have to watch this thing self-sand. Look at that. It's a rubber. Not, not, not that kind of rubber. Not like a Saturday night rubber. But it's hitting on this. Look at these. These are brand new hinges. We've got some screws in here. It looks like those are going to be Phillips heads. This is perfect. You know, take your time. Look at that rusty tip. That means it's been through the ringer. So yeah, I've had that for a few years. Or I'm going to go with this 18 volt power machine. Should have taken it off the bottom first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Lesson number six. Look at this one. This one was pretty strapped. Like, what is that? Square head or Phillips? You don't know, this one's, you know, it's stripped too long. Too many years on the pole, that's not right to say. Look at that, I think that might have been the problem. Whoever did this last time, sure didn't smooth that out or get it deep enough at all. You know, like look, at it's roughing it like, like we did last weekend when we went out to the river. You know, and stayed over overnight by there in a campsite on a weekday without any lights because we forgot our flashlights. That's like that, roughing it. So we're going to chisel that right. Well, we got that sanded down a bit. It's a little really smooth, well, a lot smoother. But guess what? We got a little bit of a problem. Looks like in all my excitement, of uh, the Canadian Tire experience and looking at all the great deals on power tools. I grabbed the wrong ones. Guess what though, I get to go back. Just look on the bright side. We get to go for a drive, it's not too cold, and we're gonna put the old ones back on until we get there. How to just get something done. You know, not everything's pretty in, in life. Like a beaver. Well, here we are trying to put it on. I got new screws. This is really going to come in handy, so I'm, I don't have an assistant right now. You ask why not? Well, I had to fire Jerry because he kept hitting on the homeowners. He'd say, like for example, he'd say, hey, nice pants. And then she'd say thanks, and he'd start taking his pants off and say, hey, let's swap. And it just got too frequent. And made me look like the kind of guy who would also like to try other people's pants on. Which I don't. Never huh? Guess what? Yeah, do that, guys. Never will. So this is hurting my toes, but I was blessed with a strong big toe. It's bigger than most people's normal toes. And I put that in. So continue on doing that. We got the door on. Look, at that's pretty multicultural if you ask me. I even use drywall screws, which is one step away from sticking it on with electrical tape. Down here at the bottom, same story. So that's basically how, well don't show anyone this, just look at another person's. Does it rub anymore? No. Not at all. So I'm Rick Richard, the how-to handyman, and this is how to try and replace some hinges on your bathroom door. And then finding out that 
The ones you bought are too small, so you had to use the old ones, and then you had a bunch of stripped screws. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully next time we'll actually fix something right up.